When you talk about nepotism, casting couch, all that, because you've seen that, you've seen your mother, yourself, and then your daughters, any lessons learnt and then conveyed to the next generation too? <laughs> okay, about, um, about this uh, entire process of men being men. So, in fact, when I was, I think, when I was in class five or six, at that point of time, it was a, a very, um, a very fascinating and a very personal moment that I shared with Baba. And that was the time that Baba actually started because I'm the only daughter, I don't have any brothers. So, um, and because I come from a, a girl's school, girl's college, everything was girls. So I really didn't have the, the chance of interacting with a gang of no men. No abuse but from women. No. <laughs> I have had. <laughs> okay. But, so actually my father, he was the one who kind of told me and then he told me about how, you know, so that, you know, I could, I, I was well prepared by the time I got into the industry and I knew exactly how my conduct would be like. So that really helped me. I think it's very important to have a, have a moment with your parents who can really uh, kind of guide you through, through the entire world. And that is one. About nepotism part, in fact, it was just the contrast in my case because I remember uh, when my first film happened, I did not know that um, an actor can be chucked out even after a few days of work. I had no idea of that, believe me so. And then the first film, Natir Guru, and I know that I was shooting in front of camera. That was the first time that I even experienced a camera, my makeup and stuff like that. I had no idea about that at that time. So, um, and then later on I came to know from my director, Horokaku, Horona Chakrabode, he told me that in two days, Baba in fact told Horokaku that if you think my daughter is not doing well, you chuck her out of the film. So it is her journey and she has to face the struggles just like the others have to face. So that was something and I, I, I feel very proud of that. So that really kind of helped me to even improve my self-respect and doing my things in my own terms. Yes. Lessons learnt on the sets and then given to the next generation. Because you've seen I both of them. I was thrown out of a film because someone more famous got the role. Probably helped the film. But I remember weeping all night and said, if there's a God above, the film flopped. So when both my daughters came to me at different times, I was able to say, don't worry, it's happened to me. We will survive it. And that's, it, it's true, you survive it, but it's so painful. And this is a very glamorous, but very painful profession. It is. It's, actually, uh, it looks it's all enchanting from outside, also. but within, there are quite a few thorns around. The paparazzi yes. gets onto your nerves at times? No, it's not them, it's the industry itself. Paparazzi you can deal with. You have the intelligent, the non-intelligent. You learn to smile through it all. But when you talk about social media, are you one person who stayed away with it in your own style? Well, my mother stayed away completely. She said, journalists in the drawing room, but she had some very select friends in journalism. My husband is very gregarious and social. So they were in the drawing room. We were eating off the same table. And uh, I, of course, will prefer anyone who can talk to me and make me feel, give me the respect of being a human being. So I also have lots of friends, but don't want to go back to someone who's a criticized. From me. the glamour world to the roads of Bankura, where you hail from as a parliamentarian, something that touched your heart and you thought that, OK, I'm on the right track. Well, I've said this before. A man who had one dhuti turned around him, who probably wore the same thing every day of the year, he stopped my car, it was a big white car, I don't know, Ford or something, and it was air conditioned. I don't wear sunglasses like most stars. And he said, put the window down, so I put the window down. He caught me in a very co a tight corner, so I had to stop the car. And he said, Ma, I'll give you whatever you want. We will all give you whatever you want. You want a vote? We'll give you a vote. I mean, it was a dirty word as far as he was concerned. He said, but please, will you give us water? which I was not in a condition to do, but my chief minister has done it for us. 